This is a continuation on my 3D Money Vortex tutorial or having 3D objects around your person inside After Effects tutorial. If you guys want to watch that video, you can click up here and click that, watch that. Someone commented on how they wanted to know how I did the title for this. This is it. So first things first, you're going to need Element 3D, the plugin. It's on Video Copilot's website. I highly recommend it if you want to do 3D and After Effects, and that's the only plugin you need. So we're going to be using this clip. Since he is on a white background, I'd rather key out the background, but I'm going to rotobrush it just so it's uh, kind of similar to your guys' footage. So I'm going to select my clip. You guys already know if you guys watch this channel, we'll select the clip up here, Rotobrush Man, and then go ahead and double click the picture and then go ahead and Rotobrush by tracing inside of the person. If you guys are new to this channel, uh, thanks for stopping by and watching. Leave a like, uh, but Rotobrush is everything right now. Rotobrush looks fine. After, before I go back to the composition panel, I'm going to click this little freeze button and that's going to save you a lot of time, especially during editing and computer power so you don't have to keep re-rendering the roto brush. Once your roto brush is done freezing, go ahead and click the composition panel back again. Now if you look at it, we just have a roto brush subject, which is exactly what we wanted. Alright, so now onto the effect. We're going to go ahead and click right here in our timeline, right click, new, solid, it doesn't matter what it's called and we are now going to put elements onto our solid. So go to effects and presets, wherever that is for you. Go to effects and presets and type in element. After you have it installed, drag elements onto your solid and we're ready for the next step. Before we go any further, we're gonna to need to make our text. So I'm going to go down here, right click new text and then you're gonna type in on the video, whatever you wanna say. So. I'm going to type in this guy's name. A little bit small. I'm going to increase the size. I'm going to press Control A so all of our text is selected, increase the size. And this is a good font, you know, but and the color doesn't really matter, but the font does matter. So make sure you change the font to whatever you want. We need to do the effect. Go ahead and you can mute the uh, text layer because you don't really need to see it anymore. After you do that, go to your element layer and then go to custom layers, open that up, custom text maps, path layer one, click on your text layer. And then on source, you can just leave it at source. Now we need to do is go to scene setup. Go ahead and click that. A window will pop up right here. And the first thing you need to do is click extrude and then now your text is in 3d actually i'm going to click on my extrusion model and the bevel scale i'm just going to increase and that will increase the depth it's just a faster way of doing it so now you need to add a material to your text so it doesn't look all ugly easy sauce is click presets go to materials you can you would probably have to click physical and then just drag one on you can drag the gold on and i like the gold because you can make it reflect paint red you can do that too yeah something like this now if you want more 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 real sauce uh if you have if you go to bevels click physical they got like pre-made presets right here but a lot of people do not do this for some reason but yeah so i'm gonna click on this uh black and blue one and then you might need to redo the extrusion depth again after you put the preset on so just click on the model myself extrude the scale and then now we have something like this which looks sick all right so now we just need to click ok and we have our text now i'm going to duplicate this layer only because if things mess up i have an extra backup and i just kind of forget about this so i'm going to unmute the duplicate and then just drag it to the bottom it's just in case so i'm going to change the color of this just so i know it's a, a layer i don't really need so now we need to click our element layer and we need to do the animation now First things first is I'm going to go to the group one particle look and then under multi object, I'm going to enable this. What this does is it makes every single letter its own object so they can all rotate by themselves. So if we look at our random, if we change this up and then move the displace, you can see each letter is moving a different way. Also this rotation random, if we rotate it, every letter is rotating a different way. And that's basically the sauce. So we're going to go to the beginning of our clip by moving the cursor. We're going to keyframe the rotation 
and then we're going to go to where we want the animation to I like to have it off rotation a little bit just so you can still read it but it still has style to it that's basically it now what we need to do is we need to make it rotate a lot and ease into the final which is right here at this moment right so i'm gonna go back to the beginning right here under rotation where it says x so it does a full rotation and then back to our original we could even do two rotations so it's a little faster something like that and I'm going to double click this rotation random. I'm gonna see my keyframe here. I'm going to select it, keyframe assistant, easy ease in. And that just makes it look better. Now what we need to do is we need to make it the spinning animation. So if you guys watch my money tutorial, it's pretty much the same thing. If you haven't, I recommend it because it's more objects and more in depth. But what we need to do is we need to increase the displace just a little bit and we need to increase this z displace actually we need to under scatter xyz we're going to need to increase the z scatter and kind of do this like a lot like about 200 we'll see and you can see there's a bunch of letters crossing like all up in your face in the screen but that's what we want because it's a tunnel it's a vortex right and it's going to come in so we just make sure to have that and we're going to keyframe the z scatter and then we're going to go to the end of our animation which is about right here we're just going to press zero. So now if you look at the animation is something like this. And we want that Z depth just so we can do the spin around him. Sick. So now we need to do the spin. Actually, before we do the spin, we're going to do the depth map. So we're going to go to output, open that up, and then we're going to click on Z depth. And then I can see there's an outline of the letters. We kind of don't want that. We want the front letters to be gradient like this, but you kind of want it separate so each uh, letter is separate so this is only half gradient it's gonna how do i say like half opacity go through him if that makes sense so we're, i'm going to increase the z depth start to where this h is pretty much completely full as you can see we're getting this l lighted up um as well and we really don't want that because we want the l to be in the back of him so we're kind of creating a we're saying like this h and c are in the front and then the L is, is behind, right? It, because we can't see the L. So I'm gonna increase the Z depth and you can see these letters are getting brighter and we want it very bright. We want it like as super contrasted white. And you can see now that we have both of these super contrasted and then the L isn't contrasted yet because it's gonna be behind him, which is what we want. Perfect. Now we need to have this spinning. So I'm going to close all of our drop downs. I'm gonna go to world transform. This is easier than having a, the group transform just because you want the whole thing spinning is just, just trust me it's easier so we're gonna open up the world transform open up the world rotation and on this x rotation i'm right, sorry on the y rotation we're just going to spin it around now you can see that the letters that are spinning in the front are completely bright and the ones in the back are super dark but like you see these letters they're completely bright because they're in the front right so i'm just gonna change the world rotation to where i think the animation might look the best since there's three letters right here and that's kind of the whole effect i'm gonna have this in the beginning so i'm gonna move this right here make sure my cursor is in the front again keyframe the y rotation and then go to the end of the clip which my text is moving already since we already had the original keyframes on the y rotation i'm just gonna press zero so if you look at the animation we have letters moving across from him and then at the end go zero so if we click on so if we go back to our track mat you can see there's a circle going in front of him and then the letters are in back of him you just can't see them right now because we don't have a composite layer i don't really like the animation since it's only one letter so i'm going to go back to my output and i'm going to change my z depth again just so it adds more letters so if we look at the letters at the end all of the letters should be in front of him now but now we need to make sure that there's letters behind him. So that's one, two, three. Okay, so now we need to adjust. I want these letters to be completely dark and uh, these circle to the O to be bright. So I'm going to adjust the Z depth end and then move that down a little bit. Adjust the Z depth start. So now we have these layers a little bit transparent and then move the Z depth end to where we want super contrasted. And right now is perfect so if you look at the animation bright means in front dark means in back boom perfect 
Once again, we are going to uncheck this element, top element layer. Look at the animation with the rotor brush. Boom, text in front of him. Final step, duplicate your element layer by press Ctrl D. A new layer is gonna pop up. Go ahead and unhide this layer. Output Z depth composite. And then drag this layer underneath your rotor brush person. And then now you have the animation. And that's basically how you do it. You obviously keyframe it to your video, make it how you like it. Currently right now you can see how it's a little bit transparent. That's because the composite is a little bit transparent. It's not super contrasted. So the contrast has to be perfect. So if I up this contrast, scroll down, then obviously, you know, it's not, you know, it's less hidden, you know, it's less opacity. But make sure when you do that, make sure that the animation still works, right? So right now the animation doesn't really work. I'm gonna change the Z depth again, about right here. And then now we have something completely different, right? Or it's working actually. All right, and that's basically it for the tutorial. If you guys liked it, leave a like. If you guys want more tutorials on music videos, how to shoot music videos, editing, effects, subscribe.